I, I, get, I had this picture of one of the scriptures when it talks about when Jesus you know, was, was, was taken captive and Paul was there before he heard the, the cock crow and, and it said, and Peter seen Jesus and Jesus looking at Peter. And, and I, I can just see this, the whole time that Jesus was going through, through these things, what was the joy set before him? He was looking at you. Just think when, when, when he ha was having his beard plucked out, he was looking at you. When they put a crown of thorns in his head, he was, he was driven, why? Because he was looking at you. When they laid stripe after stripe and stripe after stripe upon his back, he was driven. Why? Because he was looking at you. They make fun of him and put a robe on him and, 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 and do all those things and make a display of him openly. And, and everyone's saying, crucify, crucify him, crucify him. All the while, he's driven. Why? Because he's looking at you. Thank you, Father. Why is holding the cross, going to the place he's going to die and, 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 and just and, and losing all strength. And, and he's doing that. He's all the while, I believe, he's, he's, he's struggling to, to make it through the streets with that cross on his shoulder. I, I believe he's driven. Why? Because he's, he's looking at you. So much to so that he couldn't even bear the cross anymore and they had to get someone else to bear the cross all the way to Golgotha. And I, I believe as, as every swing of the, of the hammer that hit every, every, every nail into his wrist and into, the, into his feet, that every swing of that ax, I believe he was looking at you. He was driven because he's looking at you. And I, and I believe as he's up on the cross and, and they pierce his side, I believe he's looking at you. And as he looked at his father and, he, and he's saying, why have you forsaken me? I believe all the while, He's looking at you. Why? Because what did he say? Forgive them for they know not what they do. Why? Because he was looking at them. And when he said it, it is finished, I believe the last thing he saw was our faces. But I'm so grateful that God's driven so grateful that Jesus is driven. Jesus was driven. He went to the lower parts of the earth. There he was driven. He was driven in the lower parts of the earth. He was forsaken. He, was, he took on the weight and sin of all of us. He was driven. Even in that place, he, he preached the gospel. The epistle said that he led captivity captive. Uh, and I'm so grateful that God was driven because in that moment when he was in the, in the lower parts of the earth, it said the glory of God, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, quickened our mortal bodies, the same spirit. Uh, uh, Romans 6 says that Jesus was raised by the glory of God, that when the spirit of God went into the lower parts of the earth and there started to be a rumble and there started to be the shake, what was it? God was driven. Why? Because he had to raise his son up so he could raise you and I up. Why? Because God and his son were were driven. So much so that when Jesus arose, he told them, don't handle me, don't touch me. I haven't yet ascended to the Father. Why? Because Jesus was driven. And he went into the mercy seat, the holy of holies, and he purchased all humanity. Thank you, Jesus. Driven. He's relentlessly compelled by necessity to accomplish a goal. Let me ask you a question today. What's driving you? What's driving you? Are you on autopilot today? Or are you living for a greater purpose? What are you, what's driving you today? Everything begins at the cross. What's driving you today? It was all for you, it was all for me. What's driving you? What are you relentlessly pursuing today? Are you pursuing things that are of meaningless value? Or are you pursuing something of eternal value? I believe we're stepping into 
the greatest days the church has ever seen, but also know that Jesus is coming soon. Let me ask you, what's driving you? Are you being driven by self? Are you being driven by a greater purpose?